big challenge before Delhi's Aam Admi Party, which is heading the government in the national capital, is how are they be going to handling the cabinet, especially when two of their key ministers are in jail and have quit? Well, according to the information from sources that we are getting, the spe specifically the finance and the education portfolios are being given to two other existing key ministers. I'm being joined by my colleague Ankit for more on this. So Ankit, uh, you have all the details. In fact, uh, Sneha, as you were talking since uh, morning, uh, in the, the re repercussion or the fallout of uh, this big resignation has not only created a gap of two ministers out of the seven in the national capital, but the 18 important portfolios which Manish Sisodia was handling, who gets those portfolios? Because most important of them was discussed the finance ministry because the finance minister has to present the budget in the national capital in just about two weeks. So now we have the full details. Two ministers, Kailash Gelot, Araj Kumar Anand, both of them, uh, the 18 portfolios of Manish Sisodia have been divided between two. Kailash Gelot gets eight ministries, including the most important finance ministry. He also gets planning, public works department, PWD, power, home, uh, urban development, irrigation and flood control and water. So uh, out of the 18, eight uh, ministries have gone to Kailash Gelot. He's the senior minister and he's the one, as we were talking earlier also in the day, uh, expectation was that finance will go to him because he's a senior cabinet minister who has been with Mr. Arvind Kejival and his cabinet for some time now. He's a member of parliament from the Dwarka constituency, uh, from the Najapur constituency, I beg your pardon. And uh, of the uh, 10 ministries, other 10 ministries of Mani Sisodia have been given to Raj Kumar Anand, who is a new entrant in the Kejival cabinet. So Raj Kumar Anand gets a big... Uh, you know, thumbs up and also a vote of confidence from Arvind Kejriwal. The important uh, uh, departments of education and health on which Arvind Kejriwal's entire Delhi model is based have been given to Rajkumar Anand. Apart from that, land and building, vigilance, services, tourism, art, culture and language, labor, uh, employment and industries have also been given to Rajkumar Anand. Remember, Kailash Gelot was already handling six portfolios. Now, this will these eight will uh, uh, combine with his uh, existing six and will take his uh, count to 14. Uh, Rajkumar Anand was handling two portfolios. His count goes to 12. These are the two top ministers now, as far as the government of uh, Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Right. Ankit, also the fact that on Wednesday, there are these massive protests that are planned across Delhi in key locations by the BJP. Now all guns blazing at the Chief Minister of Delhi, where BJP is demanding his resignation. That's right. Uh, in fact, uh, the BJP, and that is exactly what we were discussing earlier, that uh, now with uh, Manish Sisodia and Satyendra Jain, uh, who have resigned out of the cabinet, the the defense, or at least the kind of uh, uh, security net that Arvind Kejriwal has, is gone. And now, uh, this is in 10 years of the Amadmi Party from 2013, when they first came to power to today, this is possibly the first time this kind of an attack has taken place on Arvind Kejriwal and the government of Delhi. There have been few ministers, those who had resigned or were chucked out of the cabinet, but that was on the volition of the Amadmi Party on the pressure which has been created by the opposition and the circumstances in which the Amadmi Party finds itself is the first time the two ministers have resigned. And the direct line of attack now is Arvind Kejriwal. So the BJP is taking the attack right at the doorsteps of the chief minister, saying that he is the minister responsible or he is the man responsible for running the cabinet. He doesn't have any portfolios and it is his responsibility if there is any corruption which is taking place as far as uh, his uh, cabinet is concerned. They are saying that all these allegations of the alleged liquor scam could not have happened if the chief minister of Delhi, uh, you know, was either not uh, involved in it or did not know about it. So now they are asking for resignation. They are going to the top uh, and gunning for Arvind Kejriwal, asking for his resignation. What sources also tell us is that there is going to be a cabinet expansion. Two more cabinet ministers will come in, but that will happen in due course, not immediately. Right. Uh... Thank you, Ankit, for all of those details.